day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, you know what? We're sitting there recently, and you know, I enjoy, and I hope you have enjoyed some of our videos. And but I also recognize that many of you have some very, very short time uh, in your life doing different things. That you know, thirty minutes, twenty minutes, uh, sometimes could be a challenge for you. And and but at the same time, I know it is important to study the Word of God and. I want to go back and do some nuggets again, which is let's let's slice up the understandings about the Word of God in short, very short sessions uh, to to just get understanding of, of of what the Word is and how it needs to apply in our life, and understand that it's it's a challenge. Life is a challenge. But one of the things is, let's go into understanding the definition of faith. On our quick nugget here. <laughs> and I guarantee you, there's a quick nugget. You'll be able to, you might even uh, be able to blink and it'll be over with. But let's go try to do these little nuggets with educational purpose. So I don't want we to take up maybe a scripture or two and let's just break that down. And then we just keep building on our knowledge and understanding the Word of God. So for this nugget, I just want you to understand that the Bible said that the just shall live by faith. Now, the scripture in Hebrew 11, for some of you, I talk to some people, and they, a lot of people don't know the scriptures. And, and, and that's one of the challenges we need to work on is knowing the scriptures, right? And, and, and people are going to need to take one bite at a time sometimes. So we'll, we'll do it that way. And just understand, when I say faith, faith is not a, it's not about your religion. I, I don't care about what denomination. I don't really care about uh, if you had, you had some type of other religion I, or, de, or denomination. I just wanted to understand that the Bible said, the Christian Bible, and the Hebrew Bible said that the just shall live by faith. The scripture in there in the New Testament said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Think about that. We're supposed to live in hope of things that does not appear. And the Bible is very clear. Why hope for something that does appear? You're hoping for something that you're expecting, desiring, and want to happen in your life. You don't, we don't live our life hoping bad, right? No, we live our life hoping something good, expectation of something good. Then the Bible said that that's what God wants us to do. Walk by faith, not by sight. Walk in expectation of something good is going to happen in your life. Despite what you see, despite what is presented before you, Focus on what you have a desire and goal for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is Hebrews 11, verse 1. And verse 6 said, And without faith is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he, God, is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So my point is, we want to have faith with expectations of good, and then we want to have a source of that expectation, which is God Almighty. Now, you can have, many of us, and those who don't believe in God, then I guess you're going to have faith in yourself. And the only problem I know about faith in myself is it's limited. But I also know that faith in other people are limited. So when we say we live by faith, we live by faith in God. And but we walk with not in depression, but in hope. Hope for something good. So that's what I want to talk about. See, here's a quick nugget. 
and we just try to work those things out. Give it a few scriptures, get a big hit of what's going on, and we'll build from there. Because what I want to do is I'm going to start my little nuggets dealing with the covenant, and we'll just, we just get nugget by nugget, four or five minutes, and we're just breaking on down. But you know what? I bet you, you don't have time to listen to those, and we do a learn at the same time. So we got time. Let's just learn. Amen. All right. I hope you enjoy this short nugget video, and we'll continue to try those and see how they work out. Okay. And I still will continue my other videos, but we'll work on these. These are called short nuggets. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.